Who would what, Cece? Lester Bangs returned your call, and David Geffen screamed something about a publishing check for Jackson Brown and then hung up on me. Give that to Clark. What else? Zach's in your office, says he needs to see you. About what? He's in with Scott and a Mr. Grant. Peter Grant? Led Zeppelin? I'm not sure, but he is English. Peter! Oh, you! You slippery two-faced cunt! You're upset. How dare you talk business with my client behind my back? Hey, listen to me. I was trying to get your attention, oh, okay? Well, were you even going to tell me? Tell you what? Not a shilling of Zeppelin's money go to those Nazi bastards. Look, I, of course I was going to tell you, okay? But you know there's confidentiality agreements. All right, look, the deal's really... a deal, Pete, okay? Let me tell you something. Polygram is a big, big company. Don't you pity me, you weary fucking bridge troll! My father lost a leg to those Nazi bastards! My gran has got a piece of shrapnel stuck in her ass from a Nazi fucking buzz bomb! So there's no scenario on this bloody earth where my band, a proud jumble fucking British band, is gonna be sold out like a bunch of goose stepping, bloodthirsty fucking hunts! Do it on with Dutch. Fucking Dutch! That's neither like eh? A fucking lowland cunt. Just bought those bagels, they were fresh. Not so fresh anymore. Eight hours ago, I talked to you on the phone. I told you to handle the Zeppelin situation. Now, not only do you not handle it, but you tell their fucking manager about the deal with the fucking Germans? Look, he just slipped out. You saw that guy. He's intimidating. Intimidating? You want intimidating? I'm a fucking I'm a you want the fucking Get the money out of here. Don't let him do it. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. They fucked us. We got fucked. I'm going to offer Zeppelin their own label. What? Yeah. Yeah, you believe that shit? He had it in the fucking deal. He screwed us. He used us. He used us for leverage. Polygram's gonna be here on Thursday. Yeah, we're totally fucking fucked. Fuck! I'm not telling you. There's more. Uh, fuck Rogers. LMB Broadcasting? <laughs> For his distinguished service to the radio community. The radio guy. I know who the fuck he is. Oh, I know you do. Yeah, well, apparently Donny Osmond stiffed him on some promotion thing. He's threatening not to play the new album. Fine, I guess I'll go talk to him. He's talking to Boycott, label-wide. Over Donny fucking Osmond? He's a fucking maniac, you know that guy. He thinks we favor his competitors now, and... Look, I want to bring in Joe Corso. Corso's a thug. You don't know that. You don't know that. You, you, he's good. He's good at what he does. That's, don't, you shouldn't say things about people that you don't know. You know, he's, he's, he's the best promotion man in the business. Fourteen radio stations across every major market not willing to play any of our albums. It'll spread like a fucking leukemia. It's no joke, Richie. We're going to be bankrupt in... A month. Fine, bring in Corso. In the meantime, Polygram is watching us. So buy us some charts. Paper ads on Cashbox, a single on Billboard's Top 20 if you can. And you, I don't care if you gotta ship crates of Captain Beefheart's catalog to an empty fucking warehouse in Poughkeepsie. Inflate the fuck out of the sales numbers. Meanwhile, I'll go lean on... Fucking A&R. What about me? You? You go to the emergency room. Oh, my God. For what? See if they can get your head out of your fucking ass. Right, no. Yeah. Fine. Some of these are okay still. Let's pick these up, give them to the assistants. The sesame's landed face up. Who knew Vikings could...